Hey guys, let's see what Tox plays. Today, Tox plays Hearthstone. Hi guys, Tox Railways here. And I'm not quite playing Hearthstone today, but I am discussing the announced expansion that is coming out either at the end of April or in early May. Um, they said that we will be getting uh, the option to pre-purchase a pack of 50 packs. Uh, that should start on Monday. And um, there will be a promotional period where if you just log in, you'll get three free packs. There's also a legendary that a lot of other cards affect. And because they don't want you pulling a card out of a pack uh, that says it gives this other card an ability, but you don't have this other card, uh, they are going to give us this legendary for free. The legendary is Cthun, uh, who is an old god from uh, World of Warcraft, if you're aware. So, um, yeah, there are 16 cards that affect Cthun, and uh, the first pack you open of Whispers of the Old Gods will include Cthun, so that those other 16 cards, when you get them, aren't worthless. Um, that's the basic kind of uh, intro, but I do have a couple of the cards that were announced uh, during the announcement. Um, are revealed, sorry, were revealed during the announcement that I would like to show you. So, um, first, we have a couple of cards that they've considered like corrupted versions of cards that we already have. The first one is the um, corrupted version of the Loot Hoarder, known as the, cur or, sorry, the Polluted Hoarder. So, um, it's basically, instead of a 2-1 for 2, it's a 4-2 four, for 4, Death Rattle Draw card. So, it's not too different. Um, but you can see by the design, he's definitely not the same loot hoarder that you uh, know and love. So, um, more ways to draw cards, cool. Uh, the next card, I think, is a little more interesting. Um, it is called the Corrupted Heelbot. It is the corrupted version of the Antique Heelbot. And it is, instead of a 3-3 three, three for 5, it is a 6-6 six, six for 5. And instead of healing you for eight as a battle cry, it heals your opponent for eight as a death rattle. When I first heard that, I was like, uh, I don't know. Uh, they say, you know, it's a six, six for five. That's great stats for a five drop. Um, sure, but I don't think it's so great that healing your opponent eight is really worth it. However, if it goes off when they're at full health or they don't fully heal eight, not a big deal. So sure, that's cool. The combo with a priest and an Akanai Soul Priest is amazing. Like, deal 8 damage, and you've got a 6-6 six, six on the board. I mean, you do the 8 damage when he dies, so it's it's not uh, as easy to plan. But if you get Akanai Soul Priest out and then trade, um, you're going to do 8 damage to your opponent, and that can be a pretty cool combo. So, um, I I don't know. I'm not sure I'm super happy like I wouldn't I don't know if I'll be playing this card but it definitely could be a cool combo and it is a 6 6 for 5 isn't horrible it's good obviously it's good but it's I don't know if healing your opponent 8 is worth it so we'll see um all right so the next card is um the third it's not so much corrupted but it is a changed card of another uh, like another version of another card. Um, the Doomsayer has been saying that the end is coming for a very long time now. And finally, the old gods are here and the end has come. So this Doomsayer is validated. He is the validated Doomsayer. He is a 0 7 for 5, but at the start of your next turn, his attack becomes 7. So a 7 7 for 5 is pretty good obviously. <laughs> However, you play him, he's going to be a zero seven. 7 People are probably going to um, try and kill him before he transforms. And they're not going to take damage because his health is, or his attack is zero. So if the board's empty, that's pretty amazing. Of course, he could get silenced, um, and that isn't so amazing. But um, if you do get a 7-7 seven, seven for 5, that's clearly a good deal. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about the validated Doomsayer. The next two cards are cards that actually do affect Cthulhu. Like I mentioned, there are 16 cards 
that affect um, that affect Cthulhu. And so the first one is called the Beckoner of Evil. He is a 2-3 two, for 2. And when you play him, it gives Cthulhu plus 2 plus 2, wherever Cthulhu is. So Cthulhu could be in your deck, he could be in your hand, or he could be out and play, and it will give it uh, Cthulhu plus 2 plus 2. Um, you'll see later that buffing Cthulhu before he comes out on the board is actually preferable. Um, also what's cool is that when you play it, whenever any card that buffs Cthulhu, when it does, um, on the left hand side, uh, where it shows you all the moves you've previously made, um, it'll have this icon, it'll show you what um, what the stats of Cthulhu are in your deck or in your hand. And I believe the opponent can see it too, so the opponent will know how strong your Cthulhu's getting, but um, it, uh, it, it kind of keeps you up to date, because there's 16 of these cards, you could probably forget at some point what, uh, what Cthulhu is if it wasn't keeping track for you. So, uh, just playing two of these, uh, you can already give Cthulhu plus four plus four, which is, uh, you'll see is pretty good. I'll, I'll get to Cthulhu, don't worry. Um, the next card that revolves, not revolves around, but affects Cthulhu is the Twilight Elder. He also buffs Cthulhu, gives it plus one plus one, but it's at the end of your turn. So if he stays alive for a while, he can really buff Cthulhu um, a good amount if, if somehow, I don't know, you make him stealthed maybe. Um, but uh, you're you're more likely than not to at least get plus one plus one because it's at the end of your turn. So you play him, and then you end your turn. Cthulhu gets plus one plus one. So just make sure you trade with those boom bops, boom boom bobs, boon boom bots. Thank you, uh, boom bot boom bots. I cannot say it. Okay, kill the boom bots before you play Twilight Elder because you don't want a uh, that RNG to kill Twilight Elder. Um, so, now that we've seen some cards that affect Cthulhu, let's see what Cthulhu looks like. Alright. Yes, he's expensive. He's a 10-10. He's, he's 10 for a 6-6. That does not look good. However, as we saw before, he can easily get buffed. You play that 2-drop twice. He's already a 10-10 for 10. The battle cry is kind of amazing. You play him... And whatever his attack is, he'll do that much damage randomly to all enemies, including your opponent. So, it's it, in the example they showed us, uh, Cthulhu was a 14-14, they played Cthulhu, and the whole board was wiped and dealt damage to the opponent, and it was just kind of insane. Like, if you get this buffed enough, not only are you destroying their board and hitting face, but then you have a 10-10, 14-14, whatever, on the board. That's insane. That's, I almost think it's going to be kind of overpowered. But everyone gets one. Everyone gets a free Cthulhu in their first Whispers of the Gods pack. So it's fair, I guess, because everyone should have one. Um, but I feel like it's going to be just super powerful. Like, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it is, but it seems kind of crazy. All right, lastly, I have not uh, another card, but a card back. You can get this card back. I forget if it's... So I mentioned that there's a pre-purchase available for 50 card packs. I don't know if this is a card back you get for, for buying those 50 packs in the pre-purchase, or if you get the card back from... Um, from the promotional um, period. So I mentioned there's a promotional period. If you log in, you get three free packs. I don't remember if this card back comes with the promotional period of just logging in or if it comes with the, the 50 pack pre-purchase. Um, but this is a card back that you can get. Um, it's animated. This eye is like looking all over the place. Um, I don't have an animated version here, but uh, trust me, it is animated. Um, that's a pretty cool card back. So, I am excited. I'm very excited for this expansion. Um, for a number of reasons, I'm excited for standard. Um, I'm excited for old uh, sets rotating out. But I'm also excited because it really seems like there's a focus here on, um, on at least 
this old god theme. There's, they said there's going to be four old gods, uh, four different legendaries that are old gods, Cthulhu obviously being one of them. Um, but I just like the idea of having a themed deck, and there's clearly this this Cthulhu themed deck where these uh, cards are all affecting Cthulhu. I'm sure there will be other themes, um, but it just seems really cool. Uh, I'm excited. I don't really want to wait till end of April, early May, but looks like we're going to have to. Uh, yeah, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and um, they did say they're going to be releasing more cards throughout the weekend during the the championships they're doing. I, I don't really keep up with esports, uh, so I'm not sure... Uh, it's like the Winter Championships or something. It's going on this weekend. And they said throughout the event they're going to be reviewing more cards. So uh, keep on the lookout for those. Um, you can. They said that there's a website is www.oldgods.com. I tried going there and it wasn't up yet. I might have just gotten there too early. But uh, you can look there or probably just the main Hearthstone website to find out more information. And uh, yeah, Whispers of the Old Gods. I'm excited. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you, as always, for watching. Talks out.